Olympic torch and what they want to say is that Tibet has no freedom. France and China are trying to improve their bilateral ties, strained after violent demonstrations during the torch relay in Paris. Chinese President Hu Jintao and Premier Wen Jiabao held talks with the French government envoy and other officials. French President Nicolas Sarkozy says France will help create an environment for China and the Tibetans to resume dialogue. He backed down on the hardline stance he had taken when he said that he wouldn't attend the opening ceremony of the Beijing Olympics unless China resumes dialogue with the Dalai Lama. Security is tight in Nagano ahead of the torch relay. This young man says he hopes the torch relay will end without trouble. The Olympic torch relay is scheduled to start at 8.30 tomorrow morning. The Chinese government has announced it's ready to hold talks with a representative of the Dalai Lama. We now go live to NHK correspondent Hideki Yui in Beijing. Mr. Yui, what is China aiming at with this? Well, China wants to prevent the torture incidents from affecting the Beijing Olympics, which takes place in about 100 days. By agreeing to hold dialogue, the Chinese government probably is hoping to create an atmosphere where the participating countries can feel good about the Olympic Games. The international community is calling more loudly for China to talk with the Dalai Lama. So pressure is building up. The Chinese government, no doubt, feels the need to diffuse the pressure from the international community. Do you think a dialogue will bring a breakthrough? It's unclear at this point whether China really intends to hold substantial talks with the Dalai Lama towards resolving the issue, issue or whether it is merely a gesture to evade criticism from the West. So whether a quick solution can be reached, well, it seems difficult. And if substantial talks are being held, are to be held, and the Dalai Lama and the Chinese government have been talking covertly until July last year. However, between the two sides, there has been a great gap, particularly over the issue of the Dalai side's demand of a high degree of autonomy, and it is unlikely that China will alter its attitude dramatically. The Chinese government has reportedly, reported, uh, repeatedly told the Chinese public that the uprisings in Tibet are being orchestra orchestrated by the Dal Dalai Lama and his separatist sympathizers who seek independence from Tibet. The Chinese government has encouraged the people to unite with the Dalai Lama as their common enemy, so it cannot suddenly compromise its attitude. However, China knows that holding on to its hardline stance may only escalate the criticism from the international community. So China is expected to head towards dialogue, keeping a close eye on domestic and international reactions. <coughs> Residents and guests were forced to evacuate after two apparent suicides by lethal gas in Tokyo and Yokohama today. In Tokyo, a 47